Welcome to this Filmora Masterclass. I'm Sean Kitching, a full-time travel YouTuber and filmmaker. And today we are gonna be speaking about organization and timeline management. Something I see far too often is people heading out on adventures, filming the most amazing footage and clips of beautiful scenarios, only to get back home and be so daunted by this mountain of a task that they never get to any of that footage that they put so much effort into filming in the first place. To avoid this, we can use some timeline and organizational tricks to make things a lot more simple and manageable. I think this is especially vital when you guys are doing travel videos. I have experienced things like this so often where you might be out for a week and you're filming every day, but you don't have time to be on top of that editing process because you out and wanting to enjoy this beautiful location that you're in, you don't wanna be sitting inside your hotel room and editing. Once you've filmed for a week or two or three, you have generated so much footage that it very easily becomes very overwhelming when you do actually sit down and begin that process. So here are a few things that I like to do to make sure that it's all manageable and sticking to these organizational techniques will just make that mountain a little bit easier to climb. The first thing is, even if I don't have time to film, I still like to drop all of my footage at the end of every day. This is important firstly because if you were to lose that SD card or worst case lose your camera, all of your footage you had already captured would be gone. So at the end of every day, I like to create a folder. I will make one general folder called something like raw folder and I can also put a little tagline for where the trip was maybe Bali, whatever. Inside of that folder, I will like to create subfolders, each with the title being day one, day two, day three, and so forth, along with a very brief description of what that day might have entailed. So maybe it was day one, beach sunset, day two, waterfall hike, day three, you get the idea. I'm also gonna create folders for any of the elements that I think I might use in this project. So one for music, one for sound effects, one for overlays and graphics, whatever you guys might be adding that isn't footage, you can also create those folders. So let's look at our little scene and how I would actually start cutting up and organizing my timeline for this project in particular. The way I like to do it is to take all of my raw footage and drop it onto my timeline. Next, I'm gonna start going through all of this footage, a very meticulous and tedious part of the edit, but what I like to do is just cut off the tails and the heads and any of the little golden pieces that I do actually like, I like to move up in the timeline into their own separate row. Once I've gone through my entire timeline of footage, I like to take all of my selects and copy them over to a whole new section on the timeline. I don't delete any of the footage that I didn't select because if at any point later down the line when I'm putting my edit together, maybe I need just one extra bit or something for that particular scene, maybe the music plays out a certain way and I needed a little bit extra that I didn't initially select, I can always go back to that beginning part of the timeline, see all of the rest of the footage that I have and any other options that I might need and I can take that along to my final selects. Sometimes, depending on the scale of my project, once I have taken my selects and copied them over to a new section of the timeline, I might wanna go through that again, or even once more after that, just repeating that process of going through, finding the absolute gold nuggets of all of the footage that you filmed, and putting it up into a new row and then copying it over and doing that same process again. This means that by the time you are finished this, the clips that you should be left with should be the absolute best of the best of everything that you guys have filmed. And this way, when we do actually start getting to our edit, we don't have to deal with all the extra stuff. We know we have all of our very nice clips laid out here and we can start piecing them into our edit to create our travel video masterpiece. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it was helpful. I'll see you in the next one.